What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel, Mark Chinook here. Big us. Big us. I'm here with my friend Dewey. He's gonna help me out in the video today. So guys, if you're new on my channel and really want to learn from me, make sure to subscribe to my channel. There's a lot of small and good details for you guys. So if you wanted to improve your game, bring to the next level, this channel is for you. So I'm really focused on the small details to help you guys with uh, your game. Whatever game you're playing, so make sure you check it out. If you have any questions and you wanted to see any videos, make sure you comment below and shoot me a message. I will try to do my best, okay? On this video right here, I'm gonna go uh, over uh, some uh, single leg acts. One of the details that I learned from my professor Marcelo Garcia. It's amazing. Uh, I was not back then, uh, back a few years back, I was not a... a not a big fan of one leg X, but I was not practicing the one leg X. I didn't know what one leg X. So when I went to Marcelo's, uh, I got to know how about the one leg X, the single leg X, and, and, and Marcelo taught me just very good details. So make sure you check it out. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna focus on the intro right now. So last match, I'm gonna be, just go right here uh, on the knees. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow the, the whole sequence so you guys don't get lost. I'm gonna get a collar grip. I'm gonna pick him up, extend him over me, and then go for the connection, okay? So I'm gonna be here, I push, and then scoop it under, lift him right there, make him pull the hands on the mat. Now from here, look I'm gonna- well, I'm gonna extend one leg. Now this guy falls right here. From the collar, I wanna move my hands to the rib and my hands to the leg and then I'm gonna pivot myself to the side and then bring my hip right here okay that's how we get to the one leg X okay so let's do one more time from here I'm gonna go actually on the side so you see how I move myself I go here pull he pulls the hands in the mat I extend one leg now from here, hands goes that way, block the rib, and then goes to the leg. And then from here, elevate your hip, catch one the one leg X. Okay? Now, move this way. Detail number one. I can't stand up. Detail number one right here. How you understand? My foot is under. My foot gonna be, there's a T-bone right here, right? A bone around his hip where my heel is gonna place. Tip that I always tell whoever I'm teaching. Don't turn your foot that way. One, you're gonna start ripping. And two, you don't have the left that you need, the pressure that you need. So toes point out and use right your heel around the bone. Find your, your partner's opponent's bone right here and place your heels right there. This leg that's in charge to keep my hip higher. So this leg, you gotta elevate my hip as high as I can behind the knee. And we want to elevate. Now I pin my knees. And stay connected. Okay? It's a very small and amazing detail right here. If you can get this detail right, you can sweep anybody from one leg X. I guarantee that. So that's the detail that Marcel taught me. And I never miss one connection. So from here, understand. One foot goes there. Now I use this leg to elevate my hip right behind the person's knee and now you pinch your knees okay so look how important this foot is if do we push my foot off take this uh, with your right hand push my foot out look at my hip my hip drop and then from here maybe in the next video we can see what we can do when you lose the one leg axe but for now just keep your eyes on this foot so if this foot is loose you take my foot out my hip drop okay so make sure your heel Point right there, and now use this guy to elevate your hip, pinch, and there here I am, okay? Now, since we got the connection right, catch the rhythm, I get under, connect the one I get, you learn how to position yourself, learn how to keep your feet, your foot on the hip. Now let's learn about the connection right here, how to sweep. Most of the time, when you go for the sweep, against a, a, a very strong guy that has really strong base, he's never gonna fall right away. He's always gonna bounce on the far leg. 
So this detail here, guys, it's amazing. So come here, come, uh, uh, come uh, right away. Connect right here. I have my connection right there. Pinch, now my knees pinch right here. I don't like to hook, because I like to keep my elbows tight, hold my thighs right here. Now I'm gonna sweep, but the person's gonna uh, bounce on the far leg, on the back leg. So I'm gonna go here, exactly, so look. His hands in the air, he bounced right there. So from here, guys, don't let go of everything. So keep your hands on the knee. Now you're gonna fall, take this foot out, and bring him back with the bottom foot. I, will, I use to elevate my hip, boom. Now from here, it's a really good drill to understand the action and reaction. And then from here, I just bring myself back. Now, I'm gonna go, uh, his hands on the mat, Every time he goes, take the hands off, I'm gonna just go, boom, and get the sweep right there. The leverage of the second time is way stronger than the first time because the person's weight goes to the, there on the mat with the hands. When the person take the hands off to, uh, to push it up, that's when I hit the sweep right there, okay? So I'm gonna go, come back here. I'm gonna go for the sweep, connect. I'm gonna go for the sweep, boom, 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 he didn't fall. I go pushing forward, make him pose the hands on the mat, elevate my hip. Now, when he posture up, I really want to boom. Turn, hold the, the pants, just go back, and then secure the leg, okay? That's variation number one. And then the variation number two, I believe is one of my favorite of all time. So uh, I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna connect everything. I'm gonna go there, pull him up, boom, slide, go there, secure my leg, boom. I got here. Move this way. Pay attention, very careful here. I have this position tight. Now I'm gonna hit the sweep. Can be the first time, it's the second time. I put the variation back and forth so you guys understand the full sequence. I'm gonna go for the sweep but the purse is still balancing. I really want to commit my weight, boom, boom, boom. He keep bounce, bounce, bounce. These hands block the knee, keep this knee pointing that way. Now, I'm still sideways. So I was here, I'm still sideways. I'm gonna block this knee and push the leg right there, come up, and then you can go for the foot lock or anything like that, so it's up to you. But I want to show you guys that Every time the first bounce in the far leg, it, you can still sweep if you have the right momentum. So, let's understand. Come on. Let's understand the connection from this angle. I'm here. I'm gonna go for the sweep. He bounce. Boom, 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 boom. My hip are sideways. Now these hands place on the knee because this knee has to get out. So I place. Keep this knee pointing that way. No way they're gonna go this way. If you try to step on this side, he can't because the knee is pointing that way. So I'm really forcing here. Keep right here. That second leg, the leg on the back, I wanna just hit the far leg and just do a nice step right there. Whoa. From here, you could easily go for the foot or just come up and get the sweep, okay? So pay attention to small detail of the knee, keeping the person's knee pointing out. If the knee pointing out, the person is gonna bounce that way, but never gonna come back, okay? And then keep the far leg. So one more time on this angle right here. So can break the knees. I lift him up, boom, slide one, gets here, boom, connect. I go for the sweep. I really wanna go for the sweep, bounce, 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 place the knee and push. Don't hook, push, go. And then from here, you come up and secure the points. So this one, the one of the few details that I really like for the one leg X, there's a thousand variation going for full X guard, but the single leg X is one of my favorite and never goes wrong because you always play back and forth. One of the two have to work, okay? so. Just drill, understand the situation. Every time you want to learn a technique, try understand those stronger points and the weak points 
so that way you know the difference okay um if you like that if you guys like these details so make sure you subscribe my channel uh if you guys consider learn from me uh, there's a lot of small and good details so my goal here on this channel is to bring small and powerful connections more details for you guys so make sure you check it out my channel if you guys want to uh check it out also my all instructionals go on bjfanatics.com i'm gonna put the link below so guys go there and check it out make a life easy just click below and then the link's gonna be there and and guys if you are interested bring me for your school to a seminar i'm available i'll be happy to go there and do a live seminar with you guys and have some fun and learn some jiu-jitsu with you guys so just dm me send me a message i'll be happy to go there and share my knowledge with you guys okay so thank you so much thank you guys so much i really appreciate your support if you like to see more videos make sure you like and subscribe my channel